Well then. Here's a video I'd never thought would be a thing. One that is on the leafiest of meats. I mean, up until a couple days ago, the food was practically worthless beyond egg harvesting. But now, with new recipes that even rival the best in the game it seems, I guess it's gone from worst to first perhaps. I for one am still kind of uncertain about that, but heck, maybe this video will even convince me. Let's get to it. And really the bulk of this video will center on the sources of the stuff with mentions of potential farms for it. And to start, we have our grass geckos here. Grass geckos can spawn within the rocky lands biome potentially, can be found in the dragonfly desert specifically, and finally are usually right around the rock den within that of the mosaic biome. Their numbers are usually pretty healthy, however renewing them is tedious and catching them is even more so, even at night to boot. So we're gonna need the work to make these guys an actual viable source of leafy meat for sure. That said, it is still very much possible to do so, as we have already been creating grass grass gecko farms for grass, so why don't we just make grass gecko farms for slaughterhouses along the way? The concept is very simple. Grass geckos have a 1% chance to spawn from grass harvests, and it applies to relocated grass as well. So, wall the grass in and hope for their spawn to then proceed to murder as you please. Problems are aplenty, however. Not only does relocated grass take roughly 20 days until they can spawn grass geckos, catching them when they do spawn is harder than it looks. Again, all we used to do is just leave them in pens to scare them for grass, but now, if leafy meat is gonna be as good as it's looking to be, we may want to murder them, so perhaps leaving behind teeth traps is the new way to go. I am not saying a new meta is approaching here. I am just merely offering suggestions to the possibility, just like how I'm suggesting, that fishing may be a gateway to effectively quote unquote farming leafy meat. And no, I am not joking. A potential source of leafy meat is that of the fall lounder, a swell ocean dwelling ocean fish. The swell ocean is the darker green colored part right following the coastal ocean by the by. But yes, when murdered, fall lounder drop leafy meat of all things. The issue here though, is that fall lounder are only available in autumn. And in a very similar vein comes the bloom fin tuna. Yet another small ocean fish capable of dropping leafy meat. That said, not only are they found in the coastal oceans this time around, the coastal ocean being the water close to, you know, the coast, but can only be caught in spring this time. However, both of these options are quite interesting actually, because who knew how viable these little guys would actually potentially become. And you know, the very same could go for the salad manders of the lunar island as well. These little guys already had their place with their potential to drop dragon fruit for Pete's sake. However, that required them to be ripe. Now, even normal salamanders could help us, as yes, leafy meat drops from normal salamanders. My only concern here is that I'm not actually aware of their potential renewability, so if anyone knows how or even if they repopulate, let us know. But here we go again, sticking with very similar themes here. The care rats of the Lunar Isle also drop leafy meat upon their brutal murders, and handling them is way easier as just shoveling their spawn locations stuns them. So you can just pick them up or just kill them right then and there if that works for you. Now again, I am unsure of their potential to respawn or repopulate, but if they can, then relocating them to the mainland could now be a hugely important and very useful task to complete. So, if you also know a K rat spawning habits, then let us know that as well. But of course, the final source is none other than the leafy meat machine, the lure plant. I know folk want to learn more about these things, however today, we'll be sticking to the very basics as they pertain to leafy meat alone. So, listen up. For we will not only have to wait for our first spring in order to begin to even see them pop up, they only spawn every three to six 
stays regardless. At least in spring, that is. Thankfully, though, their actual spawns ain't all that random, as they really only spawn in areas we have previously visited or just been to, and on top of that, our maps show said locations of lure plants, even if we aren't or weren't even close at the time of its spawn. So, that's very good stuff. And even though there are other turfs that can be used as well, I will choose to keep this simple too. The lure plants are easy to handle. It is the eyes that spawn from them that annoy the crap out of us. So, why not just plant whatever bulbs you find on turf that cannot spawn the eyes to begin with? Like desert turf here. Then simply wait but two days for the lure plants to start to lure and go right ahead and harvest the suckers. And this is essentially the leafy meat farm folks and it's really one of the only true ways to really go about doing it now because some of the older methods have been a little patched here and there. It all comes down to the number of balls obviously but eventually the numbers will add up quite nicely. And one thing to note though no growth in winter so be mindful there. Oh I will would also add that if your deserts aren't really feasible or just too darn far away from your base, then be aware that planting lure plants on boats on the water is absolutely an option. Great stuff there. But time to get to leafy meat itself, folks. Alone, it won't blow you away in both its raw or cooked form. So here's just a couple of takeaways to, uh, take away, I guess. Yes, Wigfrid can eat it, as it's still technically meat. But to build off that, however, this means wart players cannot stuff their faces with the leafy goodness. And, of course, leafy meat has always been a choice meat to use in order to collect eggs and just get rid of it for Pete's sake. However, now, this idea feels like a complete waste of the stuff. But why is that, you ask? Well, because of the introduction of four new leafy meat recipes for for our crockpots. Veggie burgers here can be made using one leafy meat, an onion, a veggie, and a filler of your choosing for 30 health, 37.5 hunger, and 33 sanity each munch. Beefy greens offer us 40 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity at the mere cost of one leafy meat and three veggies of your choosing which is absolutely nothing for such an incredible dish. Leafy meatloaf is next and will cost us two leafy meat and any fillers of our choosing and will provide us eight health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity each. Not bad. And lastly comes jelly salad, which is made with but one leafy meat and three honey and is a food item that restores zero health, but 37.5 hunger and a whopping 50 sanity a munch. Just fantastic stuff. And who knows, perhaps leafy meat truly will go from worst to first once the newest update fully launches here. I have a feeling though that lure plants and grass geckos will just remain the ways to go here, but a guy can hope for something different or something beyond. Again, if you have information regarding the spawning habits of some of these mobs shown here today, then feel free to share it because that can make a world of difference here. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.